Hello everyone this is Mamta Mon and today we will learn and solve self practice exercise questions 1 to 4 self practice 1d of chapter 1 chapter name is integers of class 7 of new learning composite mathematics textbook if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos let's get started and solve some questions what we learn today today we learn and solve self practice exercise questions 1 to 4 self practice 1 d of chapter integers and topics are division of integers and dividing integers let's solve some questions now we'll solve question number 1 question number 1 is determine whether each quotient is positive or negative first bit a is 18 divided by 9 18 divided by 9 will be 2 as we know 9 multiplied with 2 is 18 so 18 divided by 9 is 2 here 18 and 9 both are positive integers so the quotient will be quotient that is 2 will be positive when both are positive integers dividing positive integers we get positive integers only b minus 32 divided by 4 Minus 32 divided by 4 is my equal to minus 8. Is minus 32 is negative integers. When negative integers divided with positive integers, we get negative integers only. Both minus 32 and 4 are of opposite sign, different signs. So the quotient will be negative sign. When we dividing the different signs integers that is when we divide negative integers with positive integers we get negative integers only when both are of different sign the, then division of different sign integer will be the quotient will be negative sign now we solve question number 3 bit c 45 divided by minus 9 Here 45 is positive integers and minus 9 is negative integers. We know when we divide the opposite sign integers, then the, then the quotient will be negative sign. Here 45 division of minus 9 equal to minus 5. As we know minus, as we know 9 multiplied with 5 is positive in 9 multiplied with 5 is 45. So 45 divided by 9 will be 5. Here minus nine, nine is negative integer, so the quotient will be forty-five is positive and minus nine is negative. So division of positive integers and negative integers, the quotient will be negative integer. So we get minus five, which is negative integer. If both forty-five and minus nine are of different signs, so the quotient will be negative sign. D minus sixty-five divided by minus thirteen. Here both are both integers are of same sign, equal sign. That is both are negative, so the quotient will be positive sign. So minus sixty five divided by minus thirteen equal to five, which is positive integer. We know thirteen multiplied with five is sixty five. So sixty five divided by thirteen is five. Here both are negative in negative signs. Minus sixty five divided by minus thirteen. Equal to five. If both are of same sign, that is equal sign, both are of negative integer, so the quotient will be positive integer. So quotient will be of positive sign. So when both integers are of equal sign, the, then the quotient will be positive. And when the both integers are of different sign, then the division of Then the quotient will be negative integer. Now we solve question number two. Question number two is divide and find each quotient. First bit a is thirty-eight divided by two. Both thirty-two, thirty-eight and two are positive integers. So when we divide both positive integers, then the quotient will be positive. We know two multiplied with nineteen is thirty-eight. So 
38 divided by 2 is 19. As both 38 and 2 are of same sign that is equal sign both are positive then the quotient that is 19 will be positive. B minus 6 divided by 3. Minus 6 is positive in negative integer and 3 is positive integer. We know when we divide negative integer with positive integer the quotient will be negative. We know 3 multiplied with 2 is 6. So when we divide minus 6 with 3 the quotient is minus 2. Minus 2 is negative integer. As both now minus 6 and 3 are of different sign then the quotient will be negative sign. So, minus 6 divided by 3 equal to minus 2. Minus 2 is negative integer. We have learned that when both are of equal sign, then the quotient will be positive. And when both are of opposite, that is different sign, then the quotient will be negative. Now we solve question number 3. Question number 3 is divide and find each quotient. First bit is minus 8 divided by minus 4. Here minus 8 and minus 4 both are negative integers. We know when we divide both are of equal sign then the quotient will be positive. Here both are of equal sign that is negative sign. So quotient will be positive. We know 4 multiplied with 2 is 8. So minus 8 divided by minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 8 divided by minus 4 equal to 2. And 2 is positive integer. Here both minus 8 and minus 4 are of equal sign that is both are negative then the quotient. So quotient will be positive sign. So minus 8 divi divided by minus 4 equal to 2. 2 is positive. B minus 63 divided by minus 9. Here minus 63 and minus 9 both are of negative sign negative integer. So when we divide both are of equal sign then the quotient will be positive. So we know 9 multiplied with 7 is 63. So, minus 63 divided by minus 9 is 7. And 7 is positive integer. Here, minus 63 and minus 9 are both are of equal sign. Then the quotient, so quotient will be positive sign. So, minus 63 divided by minus 9 equal to 7 which is positive integer. So we have learned that when both are of equal sign then the quotient when we divide both are of equal sign integers then the quotient will be positive and when we divide both are of opposite signs integers then the quotient will be negative. Now we solve question number 4. Question number 4 is evaluate. First bit is 10 plus minus 40 divided by 8. Here we apply the Bormas rule. First, Bormas rule, first we perform bracket, then off, then division, then multiplication, then addition, then subtraction. In this expression, first addition and addition and division operation are given. So first we have to, according to Bormas rule, first we perform, first we calculate division operation. So minus 40 divided by 8 is Minus 40 is negative integer and 8 is positive integer. We know when we divide both are of opposite sign integer then the quotient will be negative sign. So minus 40 divided by 8 is minus 5. We know 8 multiplied with 5 is 40. So minus 40 divided by 8 is minus 5. So 10 plus minus 5. 10 plus minus 5 is 10 minus 5. We subtract 5 from 10 we get 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. Division has high precedence than the addition. So first we perform the division operation according to Bodman's rule. Then then addition operation will be performed. So 10 plus minus 40 divided by 8 is 5. Now question number second bit B. Minus 7 multiplied with 15 divided by minus 5. Here according to Bodmas rule, first bracket operation, then off, then division, then multiplication, then addition and subtraction operation will be performed. Here multiplication and division operation both have 
high both have equal priority so first multiplication will be performed equal priority operation will be performed from left to right so first here multiplication operation is given so first multiplication operation will be performed then division minus 7 multiplied is 15 is minus 105 minus 105 divided by minus 5 minus 105 divided by minus 5 both are of negative integer minus 105 and minus 5 both are negative integers we know when we divide both are of equal sign integers then the quotient will be positive so minus we know 21 multiplied with 5 is 105 so 105 divided by 5 is 21 here both are of equal sign then the quotient is positive sign so we get minus 105 divided by minus 5 equal to 21 we have minus 7 multiplied with 15 divided by minus 5 equal to 21 if you have now subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i'll reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you like this video then please click the like button and share it if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel thank you